Hey, Mark Warnke here, packoats.com. This is one of my lead does, this is Cinder. And um, she's pregnant now, I think. Um, we'll find out here in a day or so. My, my thing is, I don't like to have, you know, babies are do born approximately 150 days after breeding. And right now it is early November, and that means, <laughs> nice. That means we're gonna have babies in uh, March and April, and and that's when I like to have them in here because it's starting to warm up. Um, when it's too cold, it's just too cold. And so we don't breed till late October, early November, and then we find that our babies, um, it's not as high risk if I'm not there to help with the birth because um, it's, not, uh, it's not too cold. And so one of the questions that people often wonder about, well, is how do I know when my doe, whether I doe got my doe is pregnant? Well, you can blood test them, and in fact, you can have that done at the same time when you test for CAE, and that is what we do just to confirm it. But the best way is when they come into heat and they're around weathers. All the weathers tell me when my does are in heat. And then you can also see over here, my buck pen is separated by only this fence. So when one of my does is in heat, they're here in the morning wagging their tail. They got a weather, which is usually merciless, who's right on them. And then you got a buck over here and they're sniffing and wagging their tails. I could easily tell when one of my does is in heat. And so what I do is as they come into heat that first month I want to breed, then I, I take them, I put them in with the buck in a separate pasture and, and they get their business done. And then I just pay attention to who else comes in heat. If they don't come into heat again, it's highly likely they're bred. And so, um, so far I've only had one doe out of 11 we're breeding this year not get bred and we just bred her again the other day. So that's how I do it. It's pretty simple. If you have a couple of weathers around, they'll tell you when your does are in heat because they have enough testosterone where they're still trying to be their boyfriend and do all that stuff. You'll see them mount does. You'll see the doe flagging their tail and being available and hanging out and all the boys want to hang out with her and they're battling. It's really easy to see who's coming into heat and then you put them with the buck and you're ready to go. And if they don't come in, um, I believe it's 22 days later. I, I can't remember for sure, but I don't ever track it in terms of that. I just pay attention to, you know, they should come in and again in about three weeks. And then if they do, I know they didn't get bread. And if they don't, I know they got bread. So that's how we do it. And that's how I suggest you do it. Hope you find that helpful. Mark Warnke, packouts.com. Now remember, we have courses on everything you need to know about raising goats. Meat, um, dairy, milking, how to have babies, how to raise a baby goat, pack goats, all that stuff, those are in courses. And then we also have a membership, and as a member, you get all the courses at half price, and the membership's only 20 bucks a month, and then you gotta watch me raise goats, and you'll find it super valuable. Um, we do videos that are very in-depth, and I troubleshoot my goats as problems come along, and when I'm trimming, I show the trimming, and when I'm, when I'm giving everybody shots, I'm giving everybody shots, and when I have a goat like this doing a behavior that I don't really want him to do, I'll also show you how to correct that. Now, he right now is an example of that. He's addressing me with his head, and I don't want him to do that. In the beginning, I'll go ahead and step around here and let him know this is where we give a goat love. When he always wants to address me with his head, then I won't let him do that. And so um, because of the camera and because of the focus trying to do that part right, I let him interact with me with his head, but normally I never would. So um, hope you find that helpful. Mark Morty signing out.